This is the time when we discuss life. We discuss time. We bond together like the beads of a bracelet, pondering what is and what is not in the cosmic science of astrology, drowning ourselves into the depths of our inner being. and cutting through all boundaries which holds us within the limits of our karmas, burning our own ego to see what is beyond the smoky whale. Welcome to Astro Philosophy Hour. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Philosophy Hour. And this week in Philosophy Hour, we are going to be discussing to be or not to be in astrology. And what is this question, the mystery question? To be or not to be? What I'm trying to say here should you be a master in astrology, especially Vedic astrology, or should you have a set limit? Should you stay at a certain level and not go beyond it? That's what I want to discuss. And as you know, this is a more discussion than my opinion. This is something that I want you all to engage as to what you think. This is just my thought process. This is just the things, the information that I've accumulated over the years. Um, and I just simply want to discuss this with you. You know, this is nothing, this is no serious class. This is no serious subject. This is just to open up a discussion. That's what life is about. Just opening up a discussion and you find some brilliant gems, ideas, and change of events happening just from discussions. Like imagine you sparking a discussion with somebody in, the, in a bar and you have the greatest idea. You tell this person and you don't even realize this person next to you is a multi-billionaire who is an entrepreneur and an investor. And they fall in love with your idea. They're like, okay, I'm going to give you $40 million for this. That's how things happen. This is how things have actually, I've actually experienced this. This is why it's so important to have a discussion. So that's what we're going to discuss today. So to be or not to be. Should you be a master in Jyotish and Vedic astrology and should you not? And it's not really a tricky question. It's more of a contradictory question. Because the reason why I'm bringing this subject up, because uh, as you know, um, I've stopped doing full consultation since like 2010 or 11. You know, back then I used to like record for like three hours going over everything. But I stopped it. I stopped it. Especially when I came across this one guru back in 2010 who said, be careful of doing full consultation because the way your karma is in your chart you can take on other people's energy upon you other people's problems upon you so if you're going to go into full consultation and you're going to discuss their health and illnesses well be careful they can be attracted to you and till that point I was just doing very mediocre, like, you know, even financially. Yet I was very deep into astrology, just like I am today. But the moment I stopped doing a full consultation and only focused on specific things that I learned from this teacher who said, just stick to these things. Just, you know, don't even go into marriage, just stick to this. Don't even go into this, just stick to career. Um, because we don't realize is that as much as people will regurgitate this and redundantly say this that this is a divine science this is to do with the light this is to do with you know 
Sanatana Dharma, but it is still in a cult science. It is still a cult. It is still buried in the eighth house. And eighth house is full of surprises, it's full of tricks and trades, full of its own rules and its own dimension and world. And what happens is, it, if you're going to be a master in astrology, master, and I'm talking about like, forget looking at a divisional chart, anything, no dasha, you look at a chart for 15 seconds and you know everything about that person. That mastery of astrology will take you into not only researching with other people their entire life, whether it's separation, whether it's death through cancer, whether it's, uh, you know, losing your mother at this age, like learning all of these things, you know, like going to a foreign lands and bre breaking your legs and bones because of somebody trying to rob you. All of these things a master will see. But a master himself started out as a curious student like we all do. And the curious student looked at everybody's chart, including perhaps their children, their spouse, their mother, father, siblings, best friend. And once they have learned that mastery, what happens is unless they are not spiritually leveled, it can really mess with people's mind and astrologers mind that, okay, I know this combination and it's guaranteed to do this. And this combination is present in my wife's chart. Now, unless you as an astrologer is spiritually awakened, spiritually detached from everything, it's going to bother you, or bother you in a way that you can't even imagine. And then there are rules of mastery where once you know everything, once you have just know everything and you start doing these things for people it has its rep repercussions it has its you know um boomerang effect and this is why you know it is always said that many astrologers in india you know even a board, I'm sure, deal with a lot of health issues, a lot of personal issues, financial issues, relationship issues, children issues in their life because they kind of like open themselves up to energies of this occult science and the energies of the people that come to them. Now, who, in my opinion, should go to that ultimate level like everything you know everything about the person you have learned everything about the person you have you just know it you learned it you really thoroughly learned it well that person has to be a person with no family no children no wife you know you're you're either a brahmachari or you forget you just date people but yet you're not attached you don't have that responsibility in your life you're not attached with that love of the spouse, of the children. And then when you do it, no matter who comes in front of you, you are like, okay, I'm gonna be real with you. This is your chart and this is what I see and this is what's gonna happen. Okay, so thank you for coming. Now, whatever this person suffers, it's just them dealing with it. Nobody around them deals with it. But because astrologer is at the center of the matrix they're like this triangle like the light comes in hits the astrologer goes to cosmos comes back to the astrologer goes back to the client it's like we become this medium and once we are the medium the beacon you know everything then gets attracted to us and everything around us gets affected like our children our spouse our parents mother father whomever and this is why, you know, I keep, I personally, I personally keep my boundaries as to how far do I need to discuss something with this person and how far I should not. And then once I met my spiritual guru, Kavindra Rishi, Jeffrey Armstrong, back in, uh, 
I still remember my very first conversation with him back in 2012 and I spoke to him for like two hours on the phone. Like first talk, I'm talking for two hours. That's what he told me. Um, and I made a video on that actually. I, I'll, I'll put the title in the bottom when I spoke to him and I made a video right away. I'm like, he told me, don't dive into this, don't dive into this, don't dive into that. And when you tell something, say it in this way. Now, I'm not going to be sharing what exactly he told me fully, what not to discuss or discuss, because, you know, I don't want you guys to scrutinize him. It's just that it was a discussion between he and I. And he said, you know, what he learned from his master, uh, it was MK Gandhi, his uh, astrologer guru. He told him what the boundaries should be and when the boundary should be broken. A boundary should be broken and to really fully extend yourself to a client in all directions, all avenues, is when you are a yogi. Is when you're spiritually awakened. Is when you are detached from everything. No matter what happens, you are not attached to it. Fine, you say something uh, to this person about their health, that same health issue comes to you, you don't care. Because you know you want to leave. You know, you're just, you're okay. You, you, you just want to you know deal with this. But at the end of the day also, if you are helping that person, that's what most important. So don't think just because you are taking on their karmas, you are being spared. No, you're still not. Just because you're taking on their disease, because you told them something about their disease and you take that on like a doctor would, you know, um, that's another subject. But don't think that something's going to forgive you. No, because you got to give them light. You got to give that person who came to you light. And of course, um, most of brilliant, brilliant masters and astrologers are straight up honest. Okay, this is what's going to happen to you. You're going to die through a car accident and you're going to die through, you know, a gunshot wound by this person, this and this and this, and this is your life and boom, everything in a nutshell. And this is where one has to be careful of how much you tell a person. You got to let them play out their karma. You got to understand this. As an astrologer to a client, you can't make them change their karma. You have to let them play out their karma. You let them play it out. You give them choices and you tell them, look, these are the three directions I see in your chart. It's up to you to decide. And if you have a fourth direction, go for it. But this is the three things that I see. And this is why, you know, I concentrate myself for not going into their health. As much as people ask me, oh, I just started this health issues. What is going to happen with this? And I see it and I know the result. Perhaps they will not like the result that I'm seeing. So I keep them out shut. I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't discuss this. I only focus towards your relationship, your nakshatras, and that's it. I don't, that, that's something you just deal with it. Then just, just let time progress. Just keep on doing your, uh, you know, remedies, keep on taking your medicines and that's it. So I leave this discussion, this, and, and this, this question out to you, the world. The people who watch me here, people who might be watching as new people, is how far would you like to go? And what is your belief system when it comes to um, understanding astrological consultation? I would like, really like to know genuinely because perhaps you met some yogi, you met some divine guru who told you something that perhaps will just really, you know, shake my bones. So I'll leave you off with this in today's uh, this week's topic of uh, astro philosophy okay so anyway guys if you're new to my channel subscribe below again if you want to know where your plants are placed all the other logical details check out the links here for my books reports consultations otherwise we'll see you tomorrow with a new video